morning! It's Tuesday the 30th of June and we're up to Psalm 61 in our series. This is an absolute pearl of a psalm. It's a short one, but there's so much for us to learn from this and um, get from it, whether we've been a Christian for days or for decades. I don't know how you use these Wake Up Well devotionals, but it may help you today to have a copy of the psalm to hand so that we can walk through it together. It starts off with David crying out to God. Verses 1 and 2. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Now this is probably, you don't know for definite, but it's probably set at, um, when David was um, usurped from his throne by his beloved son Absalom. It says here um, that he's at the ends of the earth and his heart's growing faint. So he's not just in new territory at the ends of his known earth, but probably emotionally he's at that point as well. Can you imagine? His beloved son is trying to kill him. And he's crying out to God, um, but not in a, oh, where are you, God? But in a, God, I know you're there, but I'm just not feeling it. But this little psalm takes us from this desperate cry in just a few short verses to a point where he's able to praise God and ask for really confident prayer of God. So how does he do that? Well, he, if we look at verses three and four, he looks back on times where he's known that God has been really close to him. He's, when he's been his refuge, his strong tower against the enemy, when he's felt really safe and when he's felt really close to him. So what he's done is he's gone to the rock that's higher than he is and that has changed his whole perspective. In a sense, nothing has changed for him. He's still at the ends of the earth um, and his son is still on the throne. But in the other sense, in the spiritual sense, everything has changed. The worldly king is off his throne, but the sovereign king, praise God, he's still on his throne. And that's what David's remembering. From the top of a hill, you'll know this from when you go out walking, from the top of a hill, your perspective changes, your view changes, and it helps him to reframe the situation he finds himself in. You'll see on the psalm, it's got a, at the end of that, when he remembers God's goodness over the years, it's got that word selah. Now that means pause or interlude. And I just love it in this psalm where it's placed. It's a great point to stop and remember what has God done for us. So I don't know how this psalm hits you today. I don't know your circumstances. Perhaps your whole life feels like David is here, just thinking, I know you're there, I'm just not feeling it, God. Or perhaps you feel like you're on the rock for most things, but there are parts of your life where doubts come in, anxieties, fears, perhaps past failures and guilt, perhaps things like that that we carry around. And then we're not enjoying the freedom that comes from um, being on the rock. Why not take a moment today and have your own set up, your own pause. Remember those times when God has really provided for you and looked after you. I know for myself, and I've been living with this psalm for a couple of weeks, and I'm being aware that all these doubts have been coming in on different bits and pieces that I wouldn't perhaps notice normally. And it's been really helpful for me to think, hang on a minute, I can remember God's been faithful in the past, he's provided, he's done this, he's done that, the list goes on. So why couldn't he do that with that doubt that's crept in? It's been a really practical exercise for me. And if we go on to just the last closing verses of the psalm, we see that David's saying, now he's regrouped and he knows where he stands with God. He's then able to ask a confident prayer filled with faith to say, add more days to the king's life, which of course, God does more than he asks for, doesn't he? And um, gives it, Jesus is one of his descendants. He's on the throne forever. So why not take this chance today? If you've got any doubts that sneak in, why not get back onto that rock that is higher than you are? Look at God's goodness to you and use that experience of God to nurse your faith so that we can walk forward with confident praise.